Hello students, welcome to U Maths class. I hope you all are eager to learn new concept with me. Let us learn squaring a binomial. Square of a plus b and square of a minus b. We know that the square of any number can be written as its product with itself. Right students? Same way x square can be written as x multiplied by x. Similarly, a square of a plus b can be written as a plus b multiplied by a plus b. Next step is to simply expand this product by distributive law of multiplication. That is, we could multiply each term of the first expression to the second expression, which is a multiply to a plus b and plus b multiply a plus b. Further, we could multiply each of the term on a plus b. That is, a multiplied to a, that will give us a square using the multiplication law of indices. And if you multiply a and b, that will give us a b. The second term, if we multiply b and a, that will give us a b. And if you multiply b to b, that will give us b square. We can now simplify this expression by adding like terms. So we have a square and we could add a b and a b since they are like terms. That will give us 2 a b plus the last term which is b square. We have just seen the algebraic expansion of the identity a plus b whole square is equal to a square plus 2 a b plus b square. Let us understand how can we use the algebraic identity a plus b whole square is equal to a square plus 2ab plus b square by solving few examples. Let us solve this square of binomial a plus 4 whole square by using identity. Observe this binomial a plus 4 whole square it is in the format of a plus b whole square. Right students? Now let us understand how to remember this formula in shortcut. First you have to square the first term which is a is a square and then the twice the product of the first term and the last term. In this case a and 4. Square the second term which is here second term is 4. It is 4 square. As a result we get a square plus 8a plus 16. Similarly, solve p plus 7 whole square. Square the first term p square. Multiply the first term and second term p into 7 by 2 which is 14p plus square the second term which is 7 square is 49. Next 2n plus 6 whole square. In this case first term is 2n. So, square of the first term is 2n square. Then, 2 multiply first term and second term. That is, 2 in the bracket, 2n multiply 6. Then, square the second term, 6 square. After squaring 2n, you get 4n square. Multiplying the second term, you get 24n. Plus, then, Write the square of third term 6 is 36. So we get here 4n square plus 24n plus 36. Let us solve next example. 5i plus 6x square z whole square. According to the formula a plus b whole square, here a is 5i and b is 6x square z. First term square is 5i square plus 2 multiplied by first term into second term. 2 into 5i into 6x square z plus square the second term which is 6x square z whole square. Further, 
by squaring first term 5i square we get 25i square the second term multiplication we get 60y x square z by squaring the third term we get 36x raised to 4 z square students i am sure you must have understood the use of a plus b whole square now let's move on to the second identity similarly we can derive the second algebraic identity by first writing the square of a minus b as a minus b multiplied by a minus b we will expand this product by applying distributive law a times a minus b and then minus b times a minus b expand these individual products we get a square minus ab minus ab plus b square solving further we get a square minus twice ab plus b square so this is our second identity square of a minus b equal to a square minus 2ab plus b square let us practice the application of this identity expand 3q minus 8r the whole square clearly we can see that it is the perfect square of difference of 3q and 8r so definitely it is the case of second identity then we will compare the given expression to the left hand side of the identity to identify the values of a and b this suggests that a must be 3q and b should be 8r inserting these values in the right places in the right hand side students remember the coefficients while taking the squares so final form is 9q square minus 48qr plus 64r square students note here an important point is that we will not insert b as minus 8r because if we compare the given expression with identity we find that minus b equals minus 8r that means b is 8r let us solve another example of application of identity 2 you can also solve with me are you ready students let us solve students what will have to do first yes we'll make sure that given expression is in the form of identity 2 a minus b the whole square right students yes then we will identify the value of a and b in this case a is equal to 7x and b is equal to 4y then insert the values of a and b in their places at right hand side so all the individual terms by solving the operations involved we get 49x square minus 56xy plus 16y square i hope you must have got the same answer right students we can see here the first identity is the actually the perfect square of sum of a and b and the second identity is the perfect square of difference of a and b basically these identities will help us to expand the algebraic expressions which are of the same form let's move on to the next identity third identity is actually based on the product of sum and difference of a and b we expand this product by distributive law as we read earlier a times a minus b plus b times a minus b further expansion will result a square minus a b plus a b minus b square we observe here that the middle terms are same here but opposite in sign so they cancel each other hence we are left with the square terms only this is our third identity this identity is also known as difference of two squares hence we get the formula a square minus b square is equal to a plus b and a minus b now let us see application of this identity how would we know that where to apply this identity firstly it will be a product of two expressions secondly 
वन एक्सप्रेशन विल बी अ सम एंड द सेकेंड विल बी डिफरेंस ऑफ टू सेम टर्म्स हियर द टर्म्स आर सेवन एंड टू यू कैन ऑब्जर्व दैट द टर्म्स इन बोथ एक्सप्रेशन आर सेम सो दिस सजेस्ट टू अप्लाई द आइडेंटिटी ए प्लस बी ए माइनस बी इज इक्वल टू ए स्क्वेयर माइनस बी स्क्वेयर राइट डाउन द गिवन एक्सप्रेशन अंडर इट कंपेयर द टू एक्सप्रेशन आइडेंटिफाई द वैल्यूज ऑफ ए एंड बी हियर ए इज सेवन एंड बी इज टू यू इंसर्ट द वैल्यूज इन द राइट हैंड साइड द फर्स्ट टर्म इज अ स्क्वेर सो हियर इट मस्ट बी सेवन स्क्वेर द सेकेंड टर्म इज बी स्क्वेर सो इट मस्ट बी स्क्वेर ऑफ टू यू देन सॉल्व द स्क्वेर ऑन ईच टर्म्स एज अ रिजल्ट वी गेट फोर्टी नाइन माइनस फोर यू स्क्वेर लेट एस सॉल्व वन मोर एग्जाम्पल नाइन एटी थ्री स्क्वेर माइनस सेवेंटीन स्क्वेर By looking at the given expression, you can say the identity a square minus b square can be applied. Here a is nine eighty three and b is seventeen. Now we can easily write this nine eighty three square minus seventeen square is in the format of a plus b and a minus b, which is nine eighty three plus seventeen and nine eighty three minus seventeen. By adding nine eighty three plus seventeen, we get thousand, and nine eighty three minus seventeen, we get nine sixty six. Multiplying thousand into nine sixty six, we get nine six six zero zero zero. Hope you have understood the application of this identity. Students, now it is your turn. Pause the video and solve this question in your notebook. Once you solve the sum, continue play the video and cross check your answers. Students, as I always say, maths requires practice, so keep habit of practicing sums. Students, I am sure you must have understood the concept of identities.